out. Just want to do a short one, but um, come back to Bendigo just for a week. And um, this is the first time I've been here since I've watched <coughs> two presentations Rachel Vaughan's done on ley lines and portals. Um, so first of all, shout out to Rachel. Absolute credit to her because this has been this has been another big aha moment for me and a bit of a game changer for um, understanding this reality and also understand how it's uh, been messed with. But anyway, I did a video here a couple of years ago and Rachel was like, oh, you're in a portal. Anyway, <laughs> so at that point, I couldn't spot them, but I'll share some pictures on here if you can see it. And I've just taken one then. I've taken a few from a, diff a few different angles. But where I'm standing, so I don't know if you can see, the portal is right there in the back. You can actually see here. Wait. I don't know if people can see it. Put my head out of the way. Can you see it? That's the bottom of it here. Anyway, um, and it's interesting because this line here, there's a line that runs as I'm walking. That's why I went to take it from this angle because um, that's Quartz Reef over there. So I'll come, I'll show you the Quartz Reef. And that looks like where it, it intersects. So I took some from a few different angles. But this is what I was talking about. Um, and Josh Lamara did a chat with us, said something about there's like a bit of a curse over Bendigo. And it could potentially be to do with... Um, the energy that's been taken out of the ground, particularly well, obviously with the gold, and the gold runs on the quartz reef. So here's the reef. I don't know if you can hang on, spin it around. I'll go from here actually. You can see where it runs. You can see the line where the quartz runs. So there's the quartz. So this is like central Victoria is all, all like this. But there's the reef coming up. It runs right along that line, north to south. You can see it like right. that pokes out here. But that's the portal, like right there, right on the right, right along the reef. But anyway, this is what I've started. It just coincided perfectly with finishing David Icke's book now, and so many other. I've been listening to a lot of Jason Archaics, and he keeps talking about the. It's just mad how they, all these people are coming together. And as far as what, like, Jason's talking about, um, I mean, I only come across him a year ago. And this was an understanding I, I had since 2012, and he's just put it together so well, what he calls um, AIX. And what, AI, and what he's talking about the immortal, the immortal that exists within... The sin, what he calls the sin. Um, but And then David Icke's talking about here. He, he mentioned in the last chapter, chapter 11. I might even share it as well. And what he said is um, that the true infinite self of which we all are is wisdom. And what, the, um, what he calls the simulation too is ignorance. So he said we, wisdom dreamed the dream and ignorance dreamed the copy. And this is what I want to get to the ley lines because what the ley lines I think are is um, that's how they've they've manufactured this grid over the planet. They've used the natural energetic portals, and that's when I talk about the overlay. That's what they've done. The over that's why they have to continually do rituals and put their monuments and stuff on these ley lines because that's um, that's the overlay. The can, and what's happening is, and this is kind of what Rachel was getting to, or she did get to, was that, so I'm just going to keep walking now, but that's where it is. Um, there it is. Um, what Rachel was getting to was um, that... This is a, a big part of, I wouldn't say even like con getting control of the planet back, or, or, but just allowing it to go back to its natural state. And this is what the, the mass push of AI now, I said before, is to put us into another compression. It's, and it's because we, we're starting to wake up through the natural energy coming through these things. But really, it's just a, it's an aspect of us too. 
because we're a microcosm of the earth so that whatever's happening if we're gaining these portals and ley lines back it just means you're gaining the true self back and the true wisdom of who you really are the memory is going to come in and i start i was listening to this other chapter too and he's talking about uh lucid dreaming and i used to lucid dream a lot as a kid like actually almost every night and i don't do it anymore and i had a bit of an epiphany the other night because we are technically because everything's compressions we're in a lucid dream so a lucid dream is just where you're in the dream but then you you're aware you're in the dream so i used to have this all the time and then if i was having scary dreams i'd be like oh fuck i'm in a dream and then i would either control the dream or if i wanted to wake up i'd just say they'll just wake up from the dream it's just a dream and i'd wake up and i think that's what we're doing now and the reason why they're pushing ai so quick is because we're starting to wake up from the dream and the dream is this synthetic overlay that we agreed to come into but what's happening is these portals are starting to wake up which means we're starting to wake up we're picking up the natural energy so just we're starting to remember who we are and the counteract to that is the smart cities and the smart grids because they're trying to put you into a further synthetic compression of the artificial universe and you know you can see why how they're incessantly pushing this so quick as to why they want that and this is what Clint, Clint said to us too that country gets lonely <coughs> um, and that we need to be on the earth so if you're a controlling synthetic force um, and the antithesis of the creator and the earth starting to go through a rebirth what do you what do you want more than anything you want those people locked in to a technological synthetic structure that they don't have access to the true energy coming through and this is why I've, I, I keep going back to this but this is why i think religion is the biggest one because they're going to play out the universal story um and try and dupe us into true love but if you can gain access from nature because even out here right there's there's the overlay in these portals and there's the organic so how do you know what how do you know it's what right like there's a butterfly over there how do i know if that's some fucking <laughs> ai projection or if that's a true messenger how do you know that and it, it's all intuition um so anyway, it's fuck. It's pretty crazy, but I, I think that's a, I think that's a big part of it, and I think that's definitely why, because the smart grid is what they, they they're terrified of the of our connection to the earth so much so that they have to put us in these grids. And don't think the fifteen minute city is the plan. The plan is like is like basically like Ready Ready Player One, if you've seen that movie, where you don't ever leave your house. They put you into another metaverse and that's why it's such a um they are powering through to put us into a metaverse and, and into another metaverse and i think this just keeps happening every time that's all the reset is to me is that as um divine immortal infinite souls start to wake up to what they're in or that there's a there's a controlling construct here that we're stuck in almost like a prison as they start to awaken to that the, the ai just makes another compression and that's what i think like a lot of the tartaria buildings are too they're like bleed through um or what people in mandela effect call residue so it's basically like residue of a memory of a past frequency um and it's yeah I, th I don't think like you can't be taught any of this stuff academically when, like when it comes it comes but that's i've kind of gone off the point a bit too but just yeah i want to i'm gonna go check out another place in guildford this week too just to see if there's one there but um and even here at this spot too if you look this is where it is so it's all like I wouldn't say dense bush, but just normal central Victorian bush here. And then obviously you've got this little canyon part where it is, but it's um, it's laid out. There's no, there's nothing growing there. And this is what Rachel spoke about, that this kind of happens. And she shared a v video of the, the tribal people in Australia, the Bora rings. 
and that these were actually ancient portals. Um, and in that area, that it, was, that it was either that it was cleared, so there was no nothing growing in that area. Now I'm standing right in the middle of it now. If I go back, there's nothing there. There's nothing in that spot. It's almost like a big. It's almost like a big ass borer ring. Anyway, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll stop rambling. But yeah, it's pretty. It's kind of cool. It's almost here as journey kind of shit too because I didn't understand this place as much as I do now. And um, now that I do, it's like coming back to the same place. But as with the hero's journey, you're the you're the master of two worlds. You're not the same. So I'm back in the same spot, but I'm not the same person anymore. I understand it a little bit better. I understand another layer of it now. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Cheers.